All right, what's up, guys? First video on uh, well, first commentary on Grid Autosport Online. Yeah, my first commentary on this game is on an online races, which are basically my first four races online in this game. So what you're seeing right now is the first time I got online. Yep. Uh, now the online is different from what we had in Greed 2, as you can see. You have categories, touring, endurance, open wheel, tuner and street race. You don't have uh, hardcore mode, you know, what was the, uh, I don't remember even, I don't even remember the, the other modes, but you get what I'm saying. It's right now, it's only categories. And in each category, uh, well, each category has its own levels. So that means for the touring car, you start in level one. For the open wheels, you start with level 1. Same thing for everything else. So that means if you are only playing, let's say, a street race, you are only going to level up in that category. So yeah, that's that's how it works in Grid Autosports. Um, what else? What else is... Now, how I'm going to do these videos, these online race races, is... I'm going to do them in categories, just like it is in the game. So my next video is going to be endurance races. After that is going to be uh, touring car races. After that, uh, what is it? Street race and maybe after that open wheels. So that's how I'm going to do these. And for each video, I think I'm going to do four races, just like I was doing in my Grid 2 uh, multiplayer videos. So yeah. But for the next one, the Endurance race, there are only going to be two races. Because for Endurance, it's really hard to find Endurance in the Endurance category. You have to play... Uh, what is it? You have to play the first one, where you have all the categories combined you have to play that to be able to play endurance because if you go on endurance category you're not going to find anything there because i don't think yeah well at least for now i tried and yeah didn't find any <sighs> all right now online um uh, it's not that catastrophic like it's not chaotic like in grade 2 because of the gameplay which is much 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 more uh realistic even if you know it's a little bit sim and also a little bit arcade especially when you're playing street race cars yeah you you can really feel that arcade uh vibe if i can say it like that a little bit also in uh, in drifting yeah just a little bit not too much just a little bit uh but yeah now 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 the race is finishing and yeah oh the tracks i didn't play all the tracks well i didn't play on all the tracks in this game yet even if even if i did a lot of videos i uploaded a lot of videos i didn't play it on all the tracks so a lot of time when i was playing these online for the first time the first day which is today and which is yesterday, the day you're seeing this, well, the day I'm uploading this video. Uh, I played a lot of my tracks, well, I played a lot of tracks for the first time online. So, like, you know, when people were voting, they voted a track that I didn't know. And we were playing on that track that I didn't know. And I was playing it for the first time online. That's what I'm going to see in uh, two videos after this one. In my uh, what is it? Touring touring car video online, of course. Uh, so yeah, I still need to play the single player because I ha I still have a lot to do, and I will still upload 
some videos so let's talk about this race they chose well we had two choices uh dubai and barcelona two tracks copy pasted from uh grid two so these two i was oh, i was kind of happy because for the for my first race i was doing a well, we were racing on a track that i know so that was cool and i really like this sls amg oh i really like this car really but the sound of it in grid of sport is not as amazing as what it was in grid 2 like the sound for this car in grid 2 oh man amazing ah oh, that sound was great great anyway 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 first race first online race was in barcelona oh let me tell you how it's done you know how the uh placing on the grid is done in this game basically when you join a lobby you join and you have zero point and if you have zero point you go at the bottom of the list and that means you start at the bottom of the grid and that means the guy that has the most points start in the front of the grid that means if you win and you stay in the lobby you are going to start all your races in front and i don't really like that because for good players well let's all oh, let's first see this uh this first race i'm going to talk about it during the race but let's first see what happened do you see this car really sexy right yeah i really like this car all right first online race bam starting in the fifth place okay yeah a track that i'm really familiar with because of grade 2 of course um so actually this was the first bam easy easy so this was the first time i was playing on this track in this game yeah and with this car this was the first time i was driving this car um uh, so yeah i wasn't too i was really uh taking all precautions you know really i was taking a lot of uh how do you say that? I was very safe in my driving. Wasn't getting too excited because I didn't knew, you know, how the car would react. So I was kind of going, you know, a little bit slow. Well, I was trying. Now, now that it's the, the race started, I can talk about the placement in the grid. Like I was saying. If you have a lot of points, you start in front of the grid. And that is not good. I don't like it. Why? Simply just because basically people who start in front of the grid, most of the time they are decent player and good player. One of the two. Most of the time. You know, most of the time. But yeah, if you start in front, that means you have the most points. And that means you are good that means you win races you get in front in most races that's what it means and it's not good because it doesn't really you know you don't really have any challenge you know you have pretty much you have pretty much one or two cars to overtake and that's it even well if you actually overtake them because most of the time I start in second or third place and the two guys in front of me are good players and it's not always easy to overtake. They don't do a lot of mistakes. So yeah. And it's not fun because yeah, you, you only have two cars in front of you and most of the time, well, not most of the time, but if you are lucky, 
people that you're playing with, uh, that means people that are behind you in the, uh, in the pack, in the uh, traffic, if they are good players, they are not going to mess up. They are not going to, you know, uh, there are going to be a lot of crashes at the beginning of the race. And, yeah, like I said, not really a challenge. You don't have cars to overtake. You just have to drive. Ooh. Yep. See what I was saying? It was the first time I was playing with this car. In this game. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have a lot of challenge, really. And it can get pretty boring. Honestly, it can really get boring. Uh, for my next video, well, for my next video, it was quite interesting. Oh, this guy, he just left the, uh, the session. I don't know why. Maybe his car was damaged. Oh, he's already in the last lap? Wow, that was fast. Now, talking about the gameplay, uh, it's... The game is pretty realistic for the most part like for open wheels for touring cars for uh what else what else do you have in this for endurance races it's pretty it's very realistic like you have that simulation feeling to the game to the cars but for Street cars and drifting is not that realistic. For drifting, it's not bad, but um, no, it's not really really realistic. You can't exactly do what you want. You know, you you just turn a little bit and then the car spins around like crazy. Uh, well, it's not as bad as the other game. I don't even remember the name of that game. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me try to find the name of that game where the, uh, the drifting in that game was horrible. Like, it was a joke. Like, <laughs> wait, let me, let me try to find this real quick. Uh, I don't remember the name of that game. Completely forgot about it. But, yeah. Meanwhile... My second, oh yeah, yes, Marina, and oh, Mont Tremblant. Yeah, that's a new track, and that's what I wanted to play. Uh, to play, you know, I I already did this track. I already uploaded a video about this track. Uh, Formula, what's the type of car is this? I know it's open wheel, but. Specifically, it's um, Formula B. Is it Formula B? Uh, I think it's B. <sighs> yeah, what was I saying again? Um, oh, yeah, Formula C. Formula C. Formula C. Yeah, I'm looking for that game, for the name of that game. Let me do that real quick. What? I was starting in the uh, third place? Wow. Wow. All right. So let's see how this went. Now, the open wheels vehicles are very, very easy to. You no, know, you can spin very easily with these cars. Uh, you know, extremely easily. So you have to be really careful in the traffic, especially uh, in uh, in tracks like this. Yeah, you have to be really careful. So let's see how this went. I'm still looking for the name of that game. Uh -huh. Yeah, for this, for these uh, open wheels, I always use this view. 
like it reminds me when I was watching Formula One in my country on TV. So that's yeah, I really like this year. So let's see how this one uh, third place. First corners. Damn, ah, great. And he damaged my direction. Uh, like I said, I knew this track, so I was confident in my lines. But, but, at the beginning of the race, that guy damaged my direction. Which is not fun at all. Something really, really interesting is going to happen, I think, after this corner. So let's see, let's see. So I'm about to overtake, and BAM! He gets invisible, and what happened next? BAM! What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Now, this is something I really hate in this game, in online. Sometimes, when you're about to overtake somebody, they get invisible. But, the worst part is you don't know when they are going to get visible again. It's not like in Grade 2 where you could be safe, you know, you were absolutely sure that they were not going to get visible again if, you know, you were in the same... Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Ugh, people don't know how to drive. Really. Really. Fifth place. Look at this. You don't know when they are going to, you know, uh, get back. And it's going to happen a lot of times. Like, it's going to happen in my next video in endurance races. You're going to see that. And it's extremely annoying. Extremely. I don't know how the AI calculate this, but it's messed up. It's not working. And I don't know how, but I'm already in the third place again. And well, one more or two more laps to go. And my direction was messed up, so yeah. Couldn't get one hundred percent of my lines correct in these conditions, my friends. It wasn't easy at all for me. again this nice overtake but <laughs> yeah I pl just plugged in my computer uh, yeah it was a nice overtake but yeah he was too fast on that corner <laughs> uh, uh, this corner is pretty tricky sometimes because you don't know well, you don't see exactly uh, the corner, so you have to turn ahead of time. If you don't, you are not in your line anymore. Oh, yeah. Third place again. Like I said, it's very easy to spin with these cars, and that what, just like you saw in the beginning of the race, that guy just spins extremely easily, extremely easy. See that? <sighs> All right, let me find the name of that racing game that I was talking about. Shift! Oh, how can, how can I forget the name of that game? Need for Speed Shift 2. The drifting in that game... <laughs> well, basically, the gameplay itself in that game was horrible. The physics was horrible. The only great thing about that game was the content and the graphics. Maybe also the uh, 
the sound aspect of the game, you know, the cars. But the gameplay, oh man, the worst I've ever seen in a racing game. The worst gameplay, the worst physics. Ugh, ugh, that was horrible. All right, so for my second race, I got third again. So yeah, let's skip this to the next race, just like I used to do in my Gree 2 online videos. Let's go for the next race. Circuit of Americas Endurance Race with the Forge GT. Yeah, Forge GT 40, I think. Oh, this guy. This guy is really good. I Ripper. I played against this guy in a lot of races today online. And he is really, really good. I don't think it's the last time you're going to see uh, this guy in my videos in this online races. Now, for this endurance race, I will be honest with you, it was boring. I think it's going to be boring to watch. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to speed up this race as well. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, I was trying to look how it was going to be in the cockpit view, but yeah, it didn't didn't work for me. So yeah, this race was. Uh, well, this race is not really entertaining. To watch because what what's going to happen is uh, basically I'm going to get in the second place somehow and by the end of the race my tires are going to uh, last grip like of course this is entrance race so you have to watch out for your tires uh, and in the end of the race, in the last lap, one guy is going to do a comeback on me and is going to overtake. And I'm going to finish third. Again. Again, my friends. So, yeah, this race was not really the most interesting. And that's why I'm going to fast forward this one as well. So, let's go for the third. Wait, no, no, no. For the fourth race. Which I think is the last one in this first online video. Let's go! Alright, so the final race of this first video is going to be in or in. Do we say in or on? Mm, well, the final video is going to be on uh, uh, Algarve, a track that is also in Greed. Two and I really don't know. I really don't know why people chose this track because I chose Okanai. The two choices were Okanai and this track, and people chose this track. I don't know why. Instead of playing the, the new tracks, people still want to play the old ones. Weird stuff, right? Really, really weird stuff. Anyway. We still have Eye Reaper in first place. Uh, like I told you, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the last time that you're going to see this guy in my online videos. <laughs> Trust me, it's not the last time. So, so, so. I took the ODR 8 Ultra. The one I used to take uh, in uh, Grid 2. So Algarve, 3 laps, let's see how this went. Started in the second place. I mean, we were only 7? Seven, 7 people only? <laughs> First corner. Nice.
I don't know why, but on this track I didn't want it to pick the uh, SLS EMG. Oh, and the penalty. Uh, because I don't know. I really don't know why. In the street races, I really like the SLS EMG, but in in this the endurance no, it's not the endurance race. This is the uh, this touring car, right? Yeah, in the, in the touring section. The touring section, I don't really want to take the SLS AMG because it can slide pretty easily because of the form of the car. So that's why I don't, don't pick. I didn't pick it in in this track. Now, like I told you, if you're starting in front, uh, that means. You are a pretty decent player. Well, people that start in front in this game are pretty good. And that guy in the first place, like I told you, a game. A game, people. I'm pretty sure, I can bet, this guy, it's not the only time you're going to see him in my online videos. I don't remember if he is in the next one, because the next one is Endurance Races. I don't know if he is on the next one, but I I can bet on that. I can bet on that he's going to be in the next one. But I don't really remember, but we'll see. We'll see. So, second lap. And yeah. Pretty much just have to hold your position. That's all you have to do. You know, uh, avoid big mistake. Like, well, that wasn't really big, but uh, people behind you, if they are good, they are going to catch up. <laughs> and most of the time, I do some stupid mistakes sometimes. And yeah, yeah, they can catch up pretty, pretty easily on me. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the car is, was going to spin, so I had to. Uh, I did do. I did call that in English. Counter steer wheel or counter steer? I think that's that's it. Counter steer. Yeah, I can't really do it precisely with the uh, with the controller. Sometimes you do too much. Like it reminds me uh, of the oval. The oval track. I actually played it the first time online, and I was like, "Really? People want to play on this track online? Ah, it's ridiculous." Yeah, it doesn't really. Uh, most of that. Well, basically, you just. I don't even think you you don't break on that on that track. No, you don't. You only uh, slow down. <sighs> oval track. It's not really oval. It's like it's like a triangle, but with oval corners, really big, big uh, uh, curves. That track is not interesting at all. Now, see, see what I was what I was talking about. That guy behind me, he had the same car, but it was faster than me because I wasn't really crazy fast. No, 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 I wasn't. So yeah, that's how it works in this game when you are in front of the grid. Basically, the first lap is the most important. If you can catch up in the first lap, good thing. Especially if you're playing against really good people, you know. So yeah, that's going to be it for this first uh, Grid Autosport online video, which was my uh, first one. And as usual, you will see all the all my videos on this game uh, in the playlist. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next 
videos. God bless you. Bye-bye.